Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Minecraft. And, uh, I have been very, very busy. <laughs> I have basically moved on real, real quickly uh, with the part behind me. We will take a look at that in a sec, but uh, I just wanted to show you this really cool cinematic camera mod that I've got installed now. And it just allows us to do really cool pans and stuff and and just like this really cool like sweeping motion on this uh on this logo here yeah it's just a really really cool mod and uh it basically works so that you can uh, if i clear all the points let's say uh we want to basically do what i just did i can press o and register a point Press O again, register another point, and then I can press U, and it basically does this really cool cinematic. Really cool. But uh, yeah, I have basically been really busy with uh, this end of the station area, and uh, when I turn around, you'll see what I've done. So yeah, as you can see, I just use this cinematic mod you can uh, you can basically see what we've done here I have uh, I've added quite a lot in to be honest on this section uh, one evening I just got really really into building and uh, and uh, I had to stop myself here <laughs> otherwise I would have kept going but yeah so uh, let's start off with the elephant in the room I guess this office building um, this is modelled after a real office building. Uh, you can actually see this building in Painton, which is where I am modelling this area after, or, you know, I'm, I'm sort of basing this area after Painton um, Railway Station, like this end of the track. And uh, this building is modelled after that. And uh, it, it is a Poundland and a Sports Direct in real life. And uh, yeah, I'll basically show you what I've done. I've, uh, I've added quite a lot of detail on this building. As you can see, there is people inside <laughs> doing their work in their office. Um, this is a really, really cool mod. Uh, if I just grab this here, it's called Online Picture Frame. And basically what it allows you to do is if I look at this, it allows you to get a Google Images link and uh, it allows you to put custom pictures into Minecraft. Uh, all it does is it, it just basically reads the link to the uh, Google image and basically pastes it in. And that's how I've got this Poundland logo and this Sports Direct logo, as well as these uh, these office pictures. I basically just typed in uh, 80s, 90s office space, which is, this is your typical 80s, 90s office space. This is those and that's the sort of era that I'm modeling this after is sort of like 80s 90s so uh, that sort of makes sense but the reason I've done that is because rather than just having you know black back there or actually creating an interior because if I created like an actual interior you'd only be able to see it from like here but doing that sort of tricks the eye into thinking you know there's actually an interior when there's not so you can actually like see in, see office space, and it look it basically makes the building look deeper than it actually is. But yeah, from ground like if you know if you came up here, you'd be like, oh, that's it's not real. But from ground level, it's pretty convincing to be honest. It's pretty. Uh, this is what they sort of do in the modeling universe as well. Uh, but these bottom rooms I have made enterable, and uh, we'll check out the Poundland first. If you <laughs> if you're uh, if you live in England, you'll know exactly what Poundland is. It's basically like um, a discount store uh, where everything inside is one pound. Uh, and in other countries, it would probably be like one dollar. But um, yeah, if we go inside, we have Kevin, the, the, the shopkeep. And uh, we have these shelves stacked with items. Not a very big uh, shop, mind you. I don't know why there's a trolley in here. It's not very large. But you know, it's 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 something. You know, you can get some creeper cola. <laughs> That's quite cool. 
but yeah, it's just a it's just a little little uh, shop. Sports Direct, and uh, to be fair, it, we should get the. Uh, Oh, that one stopped working for some reason. Apparently it's forbidden. So we'll just get rid of that. As you can see, I've, I've put some sort of advertisements in. That one's a bit bit of a newer one. That doesn't really fit the theme of a, uh, 80s, 90s. This one sort of fits the theme of 80s, 90s. This, this uh, sort of poster. And this is why I like this online picture frame. I'm going to use it everywhere. But as that fits very well, that's a bit, bit newer. And this is... Uh, our custom NPC J in the Sports Direct, and uh, this should start playing. That's a very sportsy direct sound, isn't it? In here, and uh, that wallpaper is very Sports Direct at the back there. <laughs> I've uh, I, I've tried to make it look you know lived in, and I might put some more custom NPCs in here, but you know you, you're trying your new shoes and stuff. But yeah, I think Sports Direct is probably a bit too new for sort of the era that this is set, which is uh, in and Poundland. To be fair, I don't think Poundlands were really around in the in the nineties. Um, this probably would have been a Woolworths in the 90s. I'm pretty sure it was a Woolworths in the 90s. Um, but I've gone with a Poundland Sports Direct. Um, so continuity there is a bit off. But yeah, then we move to this area, which I've started sort of trying to build this up. Um, there's not really going to be a lot going on down here um, and I'm still debating whether just to end the scene here or actually carry it on to somewhere. I don't know whether I actually want it to be a static scene or an actual like we can drive the trains up and down. I haven't decided yet but uh, this is going to be mainly overgrown you know bushes and trees and stuff so as you look down the line there's not going to be much in the in the way of buildings. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done over here. But uh, again, this is um, an online picture frame. Basically just one of these where, you know, I've got the Sports Director thing. But I've you, you can have these uh, picture frames as large as you possibly could think of. Um, at the moment, I've got this set by 30 to 30 by 10. And uh, I'm thinking this is how I'm going to do the backdrops. Um, basically each side of the rail here I might have backdrops like this but rather than just having like a big a big long one and uh, I'm, I'm thinking about this is this is what they also do in the modeling world is uh, they'll have a backdrop and then they'll build a, a, like a slim building off the backdrop like this to make it look like it's lived in and then obviously from let's say this angle you know, it looks like there's a couple of buildings there and then the scene carries on uh, into the distance. Let's go to there. It's a bit difficult getting them on. Right, that's looking good and we'll just populate this with like bushes and stuff um, and real make it overgrown I mean do I really want to go for third high we might go for a third high fence on this but uh I wanted to make these sort of like typical blue units which you see in the UK um, I might get a different backdrop to sort of simulate that, but one is eight. And we'll have that like that. Now I know that there's a uh, holes showing here, but that's fine. We're going to cover them up anyway. We 
big slabs like this. It wouldn't be just like skinny little units. this up to a point we're happy. This area of the layout needs a lot, a lot of love, to be honest. Done for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, and that's the thing, that's the whole point of a modern railway, is it takes you, you know, a long time to complete it. Because there's no point completing it in a whole day. Because uh, the, the whole fun, the whole point of it is uh, you build it to enjoy it. Like the the building is enjoying it. And I know there's holes in the top, but we won't see that. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like a decent unit. Yeah, what we're doing here. I might have to do that. same height okay so I have found a picture here of uh, some English bl blue units and uh, I've just put them in there like that just for now I don't know if it'll, if, if it'll stay like that but we're getting the idea basically of uh, what this is gonna look like and how the backdrop is gonna work Thing to see there's uh I mean it doesn't really work here because uh doesn't make much sense but over here you know you could you could basically see there's some more units here so from like here it sort of makes sense to be honest and then when this is populated with some uh, bushes and stuff and maybe like a fence it's sort of Start. This starts to blend away, and that's what we're trying to do: is just blend this away. Obviously, I could make it look like the units in the photo, but uh, that's sort of the that's sort of the idea we're going to go with on this, I think, because otherwise I would just have to do a big long line of sort of buildings like this just to cover up the the fact that we're in a flat world, and uh, I don't really want to want to do that I think I want to go down this route and hopefully do a backdrop I'd love to you know in the modeling world you do get continuous backdrops they do do they do make continuous backdrops at like one point there and one point there and have a nice cinematic view of it So yeah, um, I think that will be us for this episode. I know that it was sort of we didn't do much in it. We only uh, we only did that, but they are running on quite a bit now. But uh, I tend to do a lot off camera. I'm, I'm gonna try and make the next episode a big building episode where we do a big project. Uh, but I will try and 
limit myself of what I do off camera. Um, I, I'll probably just experiment with things like this off camera now. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.